Hello, today we're going to use Sketchbook Express drawing application for iPad to draw a rectangular prism using one point perspective. We'll be looking at this handout by Brenda Hodnett from Fine Art Publishers in Halifax, Canada to help us understand how this drawing works. Please repeat the name of the Sketchbook Express drawing application icons after me. Gallery. Add new sketch. I for information. Undo arrow. Redo arrow. Brush editor. Draw styles. Free draw. Line tool. Rectangle tool. Circle tool. Symmetry. Text. Transform. And layers. Here's some of the vocabulary terms we'll be using today as we discuss the basic language of perspective drawing, geometric perspective, horizon line, one point perspective, perspective lines, and vanishing point. This is a finished drawing of what we're about to create. Notice it is a rectangular prism, which we've all learned how to draw in art this year. However, this particular rectangular prism is drawn so that as the artist or the observer standing here is looking at it, sees it in reality, that the furthest parts from you look smaller. And as you look out into the distance, there's a point where all lines converge or your vision vanishes. That's referred to as the vanishing point. We have a step-by-step -step instruction handout to help us be successful. The first thing we're going to do is add our horizon line. So allow me to use two fingers to pinch my screen and make my drawing a little bit smaller. That way I can draw all the way across my drawing area or my artboard. I'm going to use my line tool and create one horizontal line. The word horizon is the root word for horizontal. Horizontal lines are flat like a table. You see I've drawn one all the way across. Allow me to label that. I'm going to use text tool and add in that word horizon line to my drawing. I'll add that there so you don't forget it. And in order to help you remember what the horizon line is, I'm going to fill my sky with blue. So the sky is blue the earth is green. That's what a horizon line is. It's the line where the sky meets the earth. That's the end of our vision. We know that the earth is shaped like a sphere, so that would be the point where the earth starts to curve. The horizon line is really noticeable if you're at the beach and you look out across the ocean. At some point you see the end of the water and you see the sky meeting it. Now, The first thing we need to do on our horizon line is we need to draw a vanishing point the point where all of our lines are going to converge. So let me draw one point here on my horizon line. And for our purposes today, I'm going to make my point fairly large so we can all agree on what the vanishing point is. The vanishing point is denoted on this drawing with the word VP. So let me add in, actually I'm going to add the whole word vanishing point so we can all remember the vocabulary that we're learning related to our perspective drawing lesson. So that's the vanishing point right there. Our next step is to use the rectangle tool to draw a square. I'm going to draw it just to the bottom left like in that drawing by Brenda Hodnett in our handout here. So now we've done step one, create a horizon line with a vanishing point, and we've done step two, draw a rectangle or a square slightly below the horizon line. Here are our next three steps. We're now going to use line tool to connect each one of the three vertices on this side of the square with that vanishing point. All of these lines from the vertices converge or come together on that one point in the distance. The 
That identifies where the top of our box and the side of our box are going to be. Our next two lines must have certain orientations. We need to create a line that is parallel to the horizon line for the top of our rectangular prism. Must be parallel to the horizon line. And then we need to create a line that is perpendicular to the horizon line for this edge of our rectangular prism. The last step is simply to erase these lines. Now in sketchbook, I'm not going to erase those lines. If I erased those lines, I would have a white mark on my screen. I want to maintain that green, so I'm gonna pick up that green by tapping and holding until I get that target. I'm still drawing with the line tool, so now I'm gonna draw a green line down that black line and erase it just like that. And so I've created a rectangular prism in perspective. That means we see it like it actually is. Imagine this is a building inside of a city, a skyscraper. Now the furthest part of that building away from me appears smaller than this part I'm standing right in front of. Perspective always refers to the point of view of the artist or the observer where that person is standing looking at an object. So that's our quick tutorial in perspective today. I look forward to seeing your rectangular prisms drawn using the one-point perspective technique.